Hey guys, welcome back to more Mono Flying Run, and I am going to... I'm in the Pokemon Center right now, and today we are going to go through Mount Moon, hopefully, if we can finish the whole thing. It'll probably be split into two parts, but that's okay. This guy over here will give you a Magikarp if you really want to, but it costs $500, so if you really feel the need to, why not? I've done it before. So let's go through Mount Moon. I'm going to spray a rub Actually, yeah, what, why not? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out to like the last second. No. Because if I don't switch out, then... Or if, then because Shade is level 7, I'll still run into Pokemon. So it's not really worth it. We're going to start off with this bug trainer who's about to send out a Weedle. Eh, Weedle's level 11. I don't understand it. They're not good. Beedrills are pretty awesome, though. I do like Beedrills. And no, oh, no, not Poison Sting. Okay, good. This should take it out in one hit, then. I just don't want... I just didn't want to be poisoned. And okay, Weedle's done. I really didn't want to be poisoned at all. Okay, sh nope, Shade didn't grow a level, darn it. Alright, yeah, but I'm just gonna keep on, like, switching, do the switch strategy, because Shade does not learn very good moves, while it is, not for a while anyways. Once it learns Bite, it'll be better, even though it's a special attack, it's still a decent move. And then as soon as it learns Wing Attack, that's when it really will become good. gonna stick with Harden, but then what do you expect? It's a Kakuna. They always have to catch the Kakunas. They can't, they can't like, you know, evolve it from a Weedle. They have to catch it as a Kakuna. Or they just have, or they do have other moves, but they won't bother using it because they believe Hardening is the best way to win. Alright, Shooter out to level 15. Shooter's close to evolving, but not, still not for a couple levels, but still. Alright, I'm gonna switch out again. You know how this works. I hope. In a couple levels, Shade will be strong enough, but... I really don't feel like cutting out all the wild battles. And she's waiting for her friends to find her, but I'm sure they'll never show up. In fact, if you come back later, she's still standing in the same spot. When really the entrance is like right there, so I don't understand what, why she's bothering. She has a Clefairy. I actually went up and got one Awakening, so... Because <laughs> that's all I had the money for, because I spent the rest on Repels. And that's hardly doing any damage. Falcon's probably my best choice, just because of Cute Charm. And I'm hardly... yeah, so I'm hardly doing any damage, so come on, Fury Attack, five times. Yes! Wow! That is lucky. That's awesome. The only bad part is she keeps on using Growl. I can't believe I actually got five times when I wanted it to. That, like, never happens. Oh, wait, come on. No way. Oh, wow! Holy crap! That's, like, lucky. Normally, people always get, like, two, but I actually got five times, and then the fourth time, I got a critical hit. That's, like, amazing. That almost never happens. Let's go down this ladder. In here you can pretty much find, in these areas you can find only Paris. You can also find Geodude, Zubat, and Clefairy, and I forgot to switch back. <laughs> Great. It's not a big deal. And apparently Team Rocket's a Pokemon gangster. Because now I'm really afraid. I, I really don't want them to hurt me. With their sand trues. And 
They're very... With their sand shoes and their ratataz. And they're very weak Pokemon in general. And I'm definitely... I don't think I'm gonna finish this cave today. Oh good, critical hit. Keep that up. Three times, that's not bad. I really like Fury Attack. I like it on um, Sparrows anyways. Because another Pokemon is pretty much useless. It's just better moves. And alright, yes, way to go, Falcon. And no, not a level. Alright, let's just switch out again. Yeah, Shade's growing levels pretty quickly. And, I, come on, don't die to a Rattata, you're better than that. Rattatas are actually pretty strong. Oh my god, five hits, wow. Rattatas can actually be pretty strong as soon as they learn Hyper Fang. An awesome, level nine. And, of course, he has a Zubat, which is definitely not as good as mine, even though it's probably a higher level. And I think his knows supersonic, so that's perfect. And yes it does. Congratulations to me. But wait a minute, that sucks. Alright, let's heal up. And yeah, Leech Life isn't going to do any damage. They really screw Zubats over until they learn Bite. Like, they give it Leech Life and Astonish, which are just both really bad moves. Astonish might be good if it's on a Ghost type, but otherwise it's pretty much really crappy. Wow! Guys, that's like ridiculous. I don't... Fury Attack hasn't hit twice yet. Whoops. And alright, time to put a Rebel. I got enough of these to last me, so... I'll be perfectly fine. And a Star Piece I can sell for a lot of money, so that's good. And let's fight you after I switch. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. No, really. I never knew that. So apparently, so apparently this guy's a genius here. He's going to send out his level 10 Caterpie. And I'm just gonna keep on going back and forth. Kind of boring, very repet very repetitive with my little battle strategy here, but that's all the fun of raising a Zubat. Unfortunately. I kinda like Zubats a little bit better in Crystal. Which where they learn supersonic at level 6 and like bite at level 11. But that's okay. Ah, uh, darn it. Crap. Oh well.
you know, one thing about this game compared to Crystal is you get a lot more experience in this game. Crystal, you you basically finish the Elite Four when you're like a little bit under 40 to, to level 40. But in this game, you're usually around level 50 by the time you get to the Elite Four. And, I, and by that, I mean like all your Pokemon are around level 50. So that's kind of cool, I guess. And no, not even close. Alright. And just has a gotta be left. You know, when I when I first very first played this game I thought he ha would have a butterfree. I was really hoping he would have a butterfree, but he just failed me and like every other bug catcher, he had a caterpie, so that really sucks. Nothing wrong with having at least one Butterfree, other than the one near Vermilion City. There's, there's only one you'll, you'll see this whole game. Unless, of course, you raise... I lost. No kidding, buddy. Over here, you get a rare candy, which I'm gonna save those all up. And you get an escape rope. And my repel goes off. And we're gonna face this guy. Sneak up on you, you're the one who walked up to me. Super Nerd Joven, okay. Okay, since I have the Magnemite. Great. And I don't have anything else yet. Isn't that nice? Well, believe it or not, I'm gonna try Squirtle. And he has Thundershock. Let's just get as much damage as I can. Oh wow. Good. And he's just gonna keep on doing that, which is fine. Yeah. See, I don't have anything else to really get rid of Magnemite, so... If you don't like that I'm using it, well, that I'm using it for temporarily, too bad. <laughs> for now. Eventually I'll have something to get rid of Magnemites and stuff like that. And the Squirrel gets experience, but I don't want him to, but oh well, I really don't have a choice on that. I mean, I could have used my flying types, but that probably would have wasted the rest of this my time limit. Use a screech, which is unimportant, really. Fury attack. Bolt orbs are just really fast, otherwise I don't like them that much. They're really boring, basically they're a pokeball with eyes, and when it and when it evolves, it's basically the same thing, but bigger, turn it around, and actually has a, like, a mouth. Oh no, not charge. He doesn't even have an electric move, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, good. Okay, Falcon's level 15, and no moves, okay. So we defeat the Super Nerd. Alright, now we're just gonna go, I'm just gonna go over here. Whoops, over here, and get a potion. And let's just head up here. Alright guys, that is all for now. Next time we will finish off Mount Moon. Have a nice day.